You know, I don't agree with every single little thing about Black Lives Matter, right? Especially the organization, it's got some weird shit in there. But the fucking sentiment, if you don't get that it's supposed to be Black Lives also matter, because of the fact that on many fucking occasions in the history of this country, in both big and small instances, sometimes it doesn't seem like Black Lives Matter. That's the fucking sentiment. And if you don't fucking get that, you're an ignorant prick who's ignoring history. Thank you for watching the channel, by the way. And they're fucking kids. I didn't know that part. I, I knew, I'm from Minnesota. I grew up in Minnesota and I was nine years old when this happened. So this is not a story that ever came into my consciousness. It was just before my time, before my uh, little baby didn't even know racism was a thing brain. You know what I mean? Like most of my friends growing up were black. For Minnesota, most of my friends. No, no, it was, it was like a good, like I had everybody, like we all had everybody. At least where I grew up, like everyone was friends with everyone. There was no white cliques until like senior year of high school. We found out there was a few racist kids because they wouldn't go to a black girl's party and they literally called her the n-word girl you know and, and and they got shunned they were like oh really bye motherfucker you're done good luck in college you piece of shit oh wait you're not going you're trailer trash and that's exactly what happened so of course one of them turned out he's now he's now a priest shocker anyway i'm ranting like crazy i'm gonna rant even more when i get further into the show that pissed me off beyond belief but it was fucking beautiful and brilliant and heartbreaking and you know my dick is flat from all the kicks that's what I thought it would be